Hello and welcome to my new channel, Imperial Manor, with me, the Imperial Manor. So I've been wanting to do this for a while now. i uh, finally got the equipment, uh, the time and uh, the right game, I feel, to launch this new channel. Uh, there's many YouTube producers I'd like to thank and I, I will do uh, maybe a separate dedication video uh, to thank them. Uh, individually because it's quite a long list because um, great work produced on YouTube these days especially uh, in the realm of uh, game let's plays so as you can see uh, the game I've chosen to launch my channel with to do my very first video and I, I will stress this is this video is a, a test uh, video um, just to sort of for me to get to grips with making a video editing it posting it on YouTube so this might be the first episode of season one uh, or it might be uh, just a video I put up uh, to test and get some feedback on uh, so airships conquer the skies first saw this game about a week and a half ago uh, being reviewed by Splattercat Gaming great youtuber make great videos does great reviews of indie games uh, watched his review of this and then watched several other producers uh, playing this game got it for myself for the value of uh, what you pay for it it's a fantastic game I've fallen in love with it I love the art style love the game mechanics it's brilliant highly recommend it um, so without further ado let's jump in so I'm gonna go straight with a conquest new game I'm not going to display hints as I, as I say I've been playing this for about a week now so I have I am I've got to grips with the uh, the controls. I know what I'm doing. Right, Imperial Manor is the name of my empire because, of course, it will be. Um, difficulty? Oh, is it going to be anything else? Imperial, of course. Um, now, I tried to do a test recording just before. Um, I and it crashed. Now I don't know if it crashed because I had chosen vast for a map size or if I chose a vast Scandic because uh, I don't know what Scandic looks like land wise um, I just don't uh, I've never done it before so I thought since this was going to be a first video uh, I wanted it to be a video first so did I go for a new landmass that I hadn't done before um, so I have a choice before me now um, do I try and load it again uh, with these settings or do I um, reduce the map size uh, or do I keep the map size and change the type of map what I think I'm going to do uh, because I want to see what Scandic is I'm going to reduce the size of the map to large keep it at Scandic uh, and I'm going to try and run it again if it crashes again I'll, I'll just keep playing about until I find a decent map uh, I'll cut the recording and I'll, 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 I'll bring it to the point where I'm about to start the game so you won't have to agonize along with me now monsters uh, have it on sparse uh, I did play a game recently with it on catalytic and it is catalytic <laughs> it is as the name implies they're everywhere all sorts of things mad scientists krakens cultists you name it it's there and it's interesting and great at first but it eventually the game becomes all about the monsters it becomes more about conquering the monsters and less about um conquering the world so i don't really want that so it's nice to have a few but not too many research speed normal is fine i find especially because of the pace at which the game progresses if you have it any slower than normal the game's over before you've got halfway up the tree especially with the uh, mods that I'm uh, uh, I've applied to uh, this game and I will say that now I am playing with uh, several mods which will be in the description below so normal's good normal's good also one of the mods states that in order for the AI to adapt to those mods to use those mods and to progress along the research tree with it you have to start a minimum of tier one on the research which is what I'm going to be doing Right, so without further ado, let's start the game and hope this time it doesn't crash. 
so what I'm going to do is uh, basically this you see ah see that's where it crashed before drawing borders now maybe that's because I had it on fast last time I've changed it to large and kept Scandic and this time no problem so let's see what a Scandic map looks like oh, looks like I am sandwiched in between empires that's a Scandic hmm. what does Scandic mean I have a feeling it's supposed to like sort of evoke the idea of Scandinavian maybe so it's sort of, that's why you got these jagged coastline. So uh, starting position, having played this game now for a week, I can tell you this starting position is not great because I am surrounded, and so I am going to get jumped fairly quickly unless they decide to attack each other instead of me. And also with this game, it's a bit of a Russian roulette. Because of what you're going to start with, you don't know until you don't choose what you start with. Right, so I can tell you now straight off the bat, that is not a great vessel. Two muskets, um, two highly volatile suspendian dust tanks, which will explode the moment you sneeze. They might as well be filled with nitroglycerin, like those old cartoons. So... So have a look at what kind of defences they've given me. Oh, and they've given me terrible defences to start off with. Right, I believe those are muskets. Tell me, it, it's not so bad if they're rifles. No, they are muskets. Oh, right, so this could indeed be a short video, not just because it's a test. Um, a short series, not just because I'm testing but because of how utterly awful a starting position and a starting um, ship they've given me. So um, I'll start with 359 um, standard uh, units of currency. So 117 a tick. So that's not too bad. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to where's where's my ship? Right, my ship. Where's it? Oh, I told it to refit in a for a dollar or something. No, no, I'm definitely going to get it to refit. Um, let's open designs. Let's see what I've got. Uh, wasp. So this is a previous design I made. A uh, cheap design. To be going on with um, I definitely feel much more comfortable with this design than the one I've got uh, let's see what armor have we got it's I believe it's steel wall yes it is service ceiling of 279 meters now that's huge um, so uh, what I might do is see how much steel armor drops it by 136 I'd like it to be a bit higher than that so what I'm going to do is now if you've not played this game before and you're interested in playing this game and you're curious as to sort of design techniques one piece of advice I can give you is when choosing the armor for your ships especially early on steel wall is great um, it doesn't have the same sort of like HP say wooden armor or reinforced wooden armor but the, it's the weight, it's super light, but it, but it does have really good um, blast damage uh, and pierce damaging early on for its weight and for it, uh, for its, so its HP and its ability to absorb blast and piercing damage is really good for its weight. But what you can do is choose steel armor, so now you have steel armor selected. You can then go to modules, and as you can see, that now has the steel armor selected there. Now, what I can do is that I can, with the steel armor still selected, I can go 
and I can choose to cover that module specifically just that module with the steel armor and that's important module for me to cover in steel armor because that's my engine if that blows the ship is lost that is the coal very flammable definitely something you want to keep well protected the cockpit which is where the pilot is you lose the pilot the, in this case the cockpit or an Elijah ship the bridge you lose your ability to control the ship and it has to sort of goes on autopilot or it just hovers there and if it can fire it will fire now I have, that's given me a service ceiling of 213 meters which is good I, I like that that's a good service ceiling and um, the main compartments that I want to be heavily protected are much more heavily protected I could go for the end try and protect the engine as well uh, I'd, I'd like to keep that service ceiling of 213 meters because that's it's a good service ceiling. In this game, always better to be able to be, get higher than your opponents. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's down to personal choice. As you play, you'll develop your own play style. Um, but for me personally, I like to be high up. What I might do as well uh, is replace that. Um, that hatch, supply hatch with a reinforced supply hatch. So, let's make it a bit chunky. Yeah, 196 meters, so it, it, that's okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. Right, so I'm going to save that design uh, as a wasp. That's my wasp mark two. So let's save that. I can't refit it yet because I've gone slightly making those slight changes. I've gone slightly over the rebuild cost, but not by much. So one tick of time, and uh, that should boom. Now I should be able to refit that. Now hopefully I'll be able to get that refitted before. I am attacked, so I'll open that. A refit. Now, while that's refitting, what can I do? Um, I could potentially reinforce the. I mean, when you're in a starting position like this, uh, one of the things you can do, if you prefer to beef up your defenses rather than your starting ship, what you can do is. Ah, right. Now this is alright, because usually what happens um, is, if you're really unlucky, you'll get defensive towers which have got muskets, which are super low tier, but they'll also be made of wood. Basically, they, they might as well have put skittles down to protect your, your, your cities, um, useless. But in this case, at least uh, the AI has afforded me uh, some decent armour steel wall by the looks of it. No! Ooh. No, not steel armor. What is it? What is it giving me? Stone wall. Right, so stone wall, HP 60, 2 blast damage, 3 piercing damage. Now you see, HP is lower on steel armor, but it's more resistant, a lot more resistant to blast. It costs a lot more. Uh, no, we'll, we'll leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. I'll, I'll look towards making some better defenses in a while. First thing I need to do is just make sure I have a ship that has the ability to at least partially protect, do damage. Right, so we're fortunate here. It looks like the AI has chosen to attack each other rather than me. This is good. This is good. This gives me time to build defenses right I'm going to pause that there um, how much is it going to cost me to build another wasp another wasp mark 2 545 ah, so one tick and I can do another wasp so we'll wait for that fire caused by a foreign agent has destroyed the vigilant rampart at Imperial Manor right okay so what that essentially means is that one of my 
mildly effective, not hardly effective, defense towers in my capital have been destroyed by a spy. I'm not going to raise the, what you can do is raise the security level of your kingdom, but it costs money. Um, I'd rather save that money um, to build better defenses rather than protect defenses I'm not very impressed with, to be honest. I mean, it would be nice in this, because obviously in this game you can, um, it has a great feature, I'll show you now, in case you're new to this game. So I've got a design ship, so let me just open the design. So my Wasp Mark II has a button here, Publish to Steam. So when you've designed it and you're happy with it and you think, yeah, I like this ship, this ship's great, this ship represents me, uh, you can click Publish to Steam and it goes directly to the Steam store, uh, to the um, workshop. Uh, and you get a chance to put, if I click on it here, you can see, you, you can add little tags to it, uh, write a little description. It's great, brilliant little feature. Um, I enjoy dropping in every now and then, checking uh, what people what designs people have put on, and also um, when I've uploaded designs um, to see what, uh, how many people have looked at them, my designs, and how many people have uh, subscribed to my designs. I have designed. I have designed um, a fort, like heavy duty, early on fort, uh, uh, early game fort, which I might save up for uh, and plop down actually, if I can hold on long enough. Um, and four people have downloaded it in like three days, so I'm quite quite pleased about that. Really, quite sure. So yeah, it's a nice. It's a really good feature. That uh, I think that's that's really cool. So anyway. Less babbling and uh, more playing. So early on in the game, uh, unless you're gonna, get, unless you get savagely attacked, uh, your best bet is to just hold back, save up some money, try and build up a fleet, try and build up some decent defenses. I mean, I've got two wasps, a fleet of two wasps there. Oh, here we go. Right, so I've got a tower there. I'm gonna try and. We're going to move those there to defend. Sometimes they will back off if you put fleets there. They're not backing off. So, here we go. Let's see, what have we got? All right. Okay. So, we've got... Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What's that? What is that? I'm not sure... Right, so it's going to back off. In fact, I'm going to really back off. Uh, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it below the fog because I'm fortunate to have been attacked on a foggy day. Now, in a foggy day, any ships below the fog line are harder to hit. So I'm going to use this to my advantage whilst I figure out the weaponry. That deck gun there is not going to be any good. So I'm going to attack it. It's not going to have a firing out to hit me when we start off. So what I like to do uh, straight away is put my ships onto accurate fire. Put them onto fire accurately. Ooh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Ah, right. It's a Gatling gun, so we're gonna move him. We're gonna move these guys over here. So he's 
basically out of action. Now there is a way uh, to apparently put ships into reserve during the battle. I've not figured it out yet. I'm not sure what it is. So you'd like to tell me in the comments below. because if you run out of coal your class is immobile and you lose your ship so if you're going to run out of coal my recommendation before you run out of coal is to ground your ship you don't want to use any coal and it will still fire so long as it has the arc which I have to do because it's a stage in the game I cannot afford to lose Let's speed this up and see what Lying on the tower. Right. Lost this engagement. Lost are not designed for long term engagements. More of a support vessel. But I'm sort of hoping that right. So that's I'm going to have to flee. I'm going to have to flee because, unfortunately, um, I want to keep those wasps and. They're just going to get annihilated. They can't fight back. They've run out of ammo. Uh, I'm going to have to cede that territory. But what I can do is attack straight away. Because um, one thing I was lacking on that last time was uh, a second cannon because idiotically they uh, rammed into each other because the pathfinding is um, not the greatest in this game but do you think obvious mistakes this time maybe Get on the other side of these rocks. See how 
outside the issue of damage is being done. You want cannon? Again? Now the whole point of re-attacking this guy again was because I thought I felt two cannons would be better than the one that was on the last time, but unfortunately um, it appears that we are not cold. Oh. Oh, right, I'm going to flee before they run out of coal. So, one ship needs to be repaired. Right, they're repaired. However, I'm feeling that a chunky, chip, chunky ship like that requires a little more firepower. So, we're going to refit and redesign for purpose. Now, here's the question. See, I already have a, I have a design here. Actually, I have something I made earlier. The Firefly. Have a look. Hmm. 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 Indeed. And it's only going to cost one hundred and ninety-six. That's a dollar sign, isn't it? So we're going to we'll say dollars. Ninety-six dollars, imperial dollars. To yeah, one hundred ninety-six imperial dollars to refit. Now, that's a cannon. These are great shot cannons. Which are great for taking out a crew. I need something with a bit more oomph, however. So I'm going to take away one of those great shot cannons. I'm going to replace it with another proper cannon. Proper cannon. One of these little fiddly grape shot cannon. Proper cannon. And, um, that's right. Because uh, these new mods, they're great because they allow you to uh, put in single block uh, ammunition dispensers. So we have, I have a small ammo store here in the back, and I have individual ammo dispensers here. Or rapid dispensation for ammunition uh, bridge for rapid command issuing um, fairly decent service evening for what this is really yeah yeah I think that's gonna work I think that's gonna work um, armor I think we have steel wall armor here yes now, is it worth reducing the service ceiling a little in order to protect certain key? I think it might be. 152. Cold store. 131. Mm. Is it worth it? Oh, I need more crew as well. Look, crew 12, recommended 17. So I need another five. Mm, that's two bunks, which are weighty. So, uh, which I will be able to fit there as well. So if we go to the modules, uh, remove those two. Fortunately, bunks have ladders, or berths, I should say, have ladders, so I need more supply as well. 
Uh, yeah, now she's fit for purpose. Oh, I could definitely do with protecting the ammo stores as well. Okay, here's what I'm going to do because. Yes, coal burns. Uh, it's not a good thing to have hit. However, ammunition not only burns, but it explodes. So, let's protect the ammunition. 127. It's not a great service ceiling. It's not a great service ceiling. We don't have a choice. There's always a choice. There's always a choice, damn it. No, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. So, I'm going to paint. Let's make sure the paint is up to scratch. Uh, decorations. Yeah, good, good, good. Steampunky enough. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can live with that. I can live with that. So save design. I'll just save that as the Firefly because I've not made any uh, technological differences really. Um, I've just sort of changed the format of it. So I'll save that. Go back to Firefly. Refit has brought the cost up. However, more than easily affordable. So I'll refit you as well. Okay. Cancel that. Refit. Open design. Firefly. Open. Refit. Make sure I have the right one there. Renfield. Right. That must have been the name of the ship that it was originally. Right. I'm being I'm being attacked. Uh, oh well. No point in drawing it out. Aim fire. You might get lucky, lads. Let's just speed it up because. The inevitable occurred. So <sighs> defeat. This this looks like this looks like they're gonna be a contender. Oh god. Right, you move there. Protect. Oh, and he's not backing off. So he must feel that whoa, look at that. That is a funky looking ship. Oh, it's a funky. It's a funky, it's a funky looking ship. Look at that service here, that is a terrible service If, if you, if I had made many videos before, you would know uh, after watching many of my videos that my playstyle, I'm a bit of a turtle, I'm, I'm a bit of an over the top uh, player, and uh, when it comes to things like this, I really like a high service in, and uh, I'd have Right, I mean, now we do have one thing going in our advantage. Uh, shots fired from left to right are less accurate. Yes, so the sun is in our favour here, but we shall see if that is important. along with the redesign to turn them. Oh, what's that? That's a great shot. It's got a great shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. The outside view, so I can see the damage. Alright, I'm going to have to move here in order to stay in an arc, firing arc. What we got? Oh, yeah. Suspense. 
Compendium tank. See now this. These crazy things here. I mean, at a pinch, if you need some extra lift. Yeah, okay. But whatever you do, um, use them only, only as a sort of supplementary module. Keep an extra little bit of uh, lift on, on your ship. Never use them as the sole means of, of lifting your ship because they're so and flimsy and they. Defeat! Defeat! He's down! Oh. Terrible. Right, so... It looks... Pretty... Grim. For me at the moment. Uh, what have I got? In my designs. I can compete. Temporarily. The Ozymandias Mark II. Yes. Yes, indeed. This was a ship I designed ex specifically for this very occasion. Let's see if it's up to scratch. So now, basically, um, <laughs> My empire is a sitting duck. And I'm just waiting for the sword of Damocles, which is being held over my head, to fall. Now, I can only hope that they have spies. I'm actually hoping they have spies. Yes, they do have spies because they just sabotage that. And here comes. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. The moment of truth. Now, yes, we should be able to defend against this. We should definitely be able to defend against this. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move my wasp here. Uh, I'm going to hope he flies over there to come down on here. He might not, he might drop down. If he does, I'll just quickly whip him up there. So we'll see. And Ozymandias and these towers are going to be on. Control shot. Yes, and he's doing exactly what we're going to do. Look so around, look around. We should be able to beat this guy. Uh, those three things of towers. Favorite tactic in the game over a tower, over one of your defenses, so you never can throw it from the sky.
Awesome. So, what I'm going to do on that slightly lifted note, I'm going to end this particular episode, this first episode, first ever video on the channel, uh, and and hope that this it's episode one, of season one of Airships Conquer the Skies, and this brand new channel, Imperial Manor, and I hope to see you in the next video where we either claw our way back from the brink of defeat or hold a heroic martyred last stand um, before beginning another series, hopefully with a bit more uh, staying power, shall we say. Thank you very much for watching this very first video. Hope you're going to be with me on this journey as I move through uh, the world, heady world of YouTube video production. Thank you very much for your time, your attention, and by all means, like. Uh, I don't expect you to subscribe right now. Wait to see if my channel has lasting power, staying power, so to speak, uh, by all means. Uh, but please like, because that's going to help my channel uh, get some recognition and get to a stage where you feel it is worth your time, it is worth your patience, uh, worth your, your viewing discretion. Uh, to subscribe in the end so thank you very much hope to see you soon bye bye for now